Hey mate, sell us your jawbone. Jawbone. <laughs>
So we're here, my fansexuals. We're in the small town of Cockermouth. Ooh. Calm down, Mrs. Blood. She keeps getting carried away when I say Cockermouth. That's the name of the town where we're at, in the Lake District, like over like on the western side. So yeah, we're going to a calf called the Lane's Calf and Bistro. Mrs. Block was looking on the old tinternet and uh, she found this place. It's got a five star rating, you know, like with the, with the local council for the food hygiene rating. We've been having a look at the menu online. Mrs. Block's fancying the cheese flan with salad and chips. And I'm fancying a nice beef baguette with mushrooms and onions and also chips. That's if they've got any left, fingers crossed they have. If they haven't, we'll just have to randomly choose something off the menu. You know what I'm talking about, man, Lingos. Well, guys, we're going to make our way along to the Lane's Calf. We're not quite sure where it is, so we'll have to put the, the old sat-nav on and see if we can find it. But um, I, I'll bring you legends back when we're making our way into the Lane's Calf and Bistro. Oh, oh yes. Rice. Dice. Why, you some lyrical genius. <laughs> Right, folks, here we go. Oh. Walk into us, Mrs. Blood. <laughs> I didn't see you. Watch where you're going. Sell us your, your navigational skills. What the hell I missed you with that type head? Oh, and well, then let's get over. He's the police coming for you. I was going to say that for you. So it's just along here, you're in down a back lane. I think <laughs> I've just been looking at the map on Google Maps and I'm sure it's down. A little back lane here. Yep. This is it, Mrs. Blood. Oh, yeah. Just look at the pink pop right outside real car. Couldn't arrest you. Police on the scene, you know what I mean. Park right outside our car. How are they? Let's go and get this food ordered. Right guys, that's the calf down at the bottom, the lane's calf. So as usual, I haven't got permission to record. So I'm gonna point the camera down. Nobody likes a, nobody likes the old camaraderie, camaraderie, <laughs> shivering yeah. the old face dingo. Right, I'll put the camera down now, guys. Ah. Oh. Aye, aye. No, there's some food to take out, please. Can I have the uh, cheese flan with chips and salad? And can I have the, the beef and mushroom and onion baguette with chips, please? And do you want a coffee? Yeah, That's it. Are you some Pamela Anderson? There we go, guys. We've got the food. We've got no bags left. They were good enough to give us a Sainsbury's bag. Keep it out the old Wayne. The old Wayne Wooney. 
Hungry, Mrs. Blood? Starving. Yes. Let's get back to the car. Get stuck in and do some serious brochure. Munching Gladback. <laughs> oh, yes, folks. Here we go. We've got our lovely food. It came to £24 something altogether. That's for our two meals, which you'll see in a minute. Mrs. Blood got a coffee as well. We've got a special guest here, Dennis. <laughs> Why are you good looking, Dennis? Whoo, sell us your breath. Sell us your teeth. <laughs> well, let's get this popped open, Mrs. Blot, and have a look and see what we've got. We were gonna find a nice little spot somewhere outside to do the munching glad back, but it's a miserable deer. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that does look nice. Look at that, guys. Nice beef, mushroom and onion baguette. Mm. We've got some sauce here. A few homemade chipperoonies. We've got forks. What have you got there, Mrs. Blot? Something, something that you like. Homemade chips. Got some flan. Cheese flan dingo. Flan dingo. Right. Mm. Here we go. Time to get stuck in. Get over so we're both on camera, Mrs. Blot. I'm going to get straight stuck in. To the beef baguette. Oh yes, a thing of beauty. Why are you messing? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mushrooms are lovely, aren't they? Mmm. That is really nice. It's mm. got like a creamy mustard meal sauce on. I think that's okay. what it is. You get your lips around my meat, Mrs. Blot. Ooh, oh, man. <laughs> I've got us both in shot, son. Mm -hmm. Good lad, I've got my son Preston doing the camera work. Mm. How are then? Get your own food eating. Mm. Never mind eating mine. Greedy goods. <laughs> you have most of mine anyway. Mm. Really nice, really good start. Where's your napkin? Then got one up here. Good, I wouldn't care on eating the food. <laughs> mm. Really, really nice. You're going to eat something. Give us a minute. Give us a minute. You're quicker than me. Very nice, guys. I'm going to get a few of these homemade chips popped in. Right like I say, we normally go for the, the zero star or the one star takeaways. Mm. And I'd been checking on this app I've got and I couldn't find anywhere in the Lake District that had a low star. So we were going to come over Cockermouth anyway for a day out. So Mrs. Blot said she'll have a look on the old tip net and find something nice for us. And that is exactly what she's done. She's found us a lovely little calf. The Lane's Calf in Cockermouth. And it makes it even better having proper homemade chips. Most places you go to, they're giving you French fries, which is nice, or just like cheap frozen chips. You cannot whack a few homemade chips, guys. Mm. Nice and crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Some people might say they're a bit overdone, but for me, them's perfect. If I make chips in the house, I always make them well done. So them are spot on for me. How's your cheese flan, Mrs. Block? Really nice? Mm -hmm. Probably one of the best flans I've ever had. Ooh, mate, mm. Mm. Now that's not something I would normally pick. I'm not a cheese lover. I do like cheese on my pizza, well you know if you have a cheeseburger, but I wouldn't normally pick that, but I'm going to try it. I'll still give it a bash. This bad spot. Very nice. Got some sauce here. Oh no, I'm seeing sauce. Cold slaw. Cold slaw. Mm -hmm. Well, it smells nice and fresh. It is beautiful. Everything's fresh, the salad. Everything. It looks nice, doesn't it? Beautiful. You know when you get your food and you open it up and as soon as you look at it, 
you're like, all oh, right, that'll ding dang do for this man, Dingo. Is the sea in the deepest forest of the Congo? But yes, I'm gonna try a little bit coleslaw. Mm, very nice very nice indeed do you want to try a chip Kristen? be your favourite chips eh? go made right then mm. as you can see I'm eating like a pig as usual you know the score in the Blood Outdoor Show guys you've just got to get stuck in and I have kept myself I've kept myself hungry for this all day. I've nearly knocked your tree over about three mm -hmm. times now. But that's pretty good. Cool. There's another mushroom. There are really mushrooms. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get stuck in the rest of this beef baguette, guys. Mmm. <laughs> Beef is spot on. It's not chewy. Hmm. Perfect the mondo mandingo. Is the same the dude doing. Really, really nice. Mrs. Blotz definitely picked a lovely calf. And I can see why they've got a five star rating. Mm. Spot on. <laughs> Hello. Now it is, I'm not a lover of mustard. But that and that sandwich, mm -hmm. mustard, it just gives, I don't know, it's lovely, isn't it? It's not just mustard. No, it must be. It's like a homemade mustard sauce that they've mm. made. I don't know what it is, it's like mustard and mayo and something else and it works absolutely mm -hmm. perfect on this steak. With the beef, the mushrooms, beautiful. Really nice. Can't fault it guys. And there's been a few times if you remember folks, when Mrs. Mrs. Bluff been out of me and she said she's enjoyed her food but only if they did homemade chips, that would make it even better. Mm. So she's got a homemade chips this time. Type it this plan. I'm gonna. Right guys, I'm now gonna try in my mouth a little piece of Mrs. Blot's fan. I mean flan. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Oh amazing. I'll cut a bit off. Go, folks. Look at that. Nice and thick. Homemade flandingo. Mandingos. And the plan dingo is I'm going to munch this grand dingo. Oh, yes. Here we go. Hmm. That is really nice. Isn't it? Hmm. When Mrs. Blob picked it, I was thinking to myself, oh, why have you went and picked the cheese flan? This is my perfect meal list. Why this didn't is you pick? Favorite. I was thinking, why didn't you pick something else? Because I'm a greedy bugger and I normally finish half of their food off. But you know what? Although that's something I wouldn't normally pick, it's really, really nice. Mm. It's thick, but it's very light mm -hmm. at exactly the same time. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's a bit like you. <laughs> I'm not light. <laughs> I wish I was light. <laughs> not a thick bit. I'm thick. Yes, absolutely lovely. I'm going to finish off the last of my steak, mushroom, and onion baguette. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, nothing will go to waste. If there's a bit flandingo left, Dennis, there you are. Dennis will finish the cheese flan. <laughs> Some people might say, you shouldn't give a dog cheese flan. Who gives a shite? Dennis is getting some. He's part of the family. Jawbone. Jawbone. Sell us your jawbone, Dennis. Sell us your breath. Jesus. 
I thought that was yours. <laughs> well, folks, I've demolished mine. Tremendous. I've tried Mrs. Blotts cheese flan. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of cheesy food, but that was really, really nice. In fact, before I give it the dog, <laughs> just spit on you. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a little bit more. Have you enjoyed that? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So I'm a slow eater, isn't She's it? a slow eater. So, yeah. Absolutely spot on. Time for the old score dingoes, man dingoes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a ginormous, big fat 9.7 out of 10 dingo, man dingoes. I can't give it any less than that. Lovely calf. If you were going there to sit in, and eat your food inside, you won't be disappointed. Lovely calf, lovely and clean, friendly staff, and top quality bait. 9.7 for me, not quite a 10, something has to be unbelievable to be a 10, but that was still really, really nice. 9.7, what's your score, Mrs. Blot? Well, I think that was unbelievable. I'm giving it a 10. You're giving it a 10? 10. Mm -hmm. Well, there you Definitely. go. See, I've I'm doing these food reviews and people keep telling us I've got to get a little bit tougher. So I'm trying to be a little bit stricter mm, with the I, scores. I know, Urgh, you know I'm, what I mean? normally, so, I'm normally tougher, tougher than you, but no, I think that is absolutely perfect. The, chi the chips are perfect, homemade, nice and soft in the middle. Quiche, that is just the best quiche I've ever had. Um, there we go, everyone's happy. Like, salad's fresh, coleslaw is lovely. Like, you've got to give it a turn, like everything is perfect. Mm -hmm, wait. It looked nice on the eye when you opened up. So there you go, guys. 9.7 mm -hmm. in a 10 for Mrs. Block with a sexy butt. Massive scores this week on the food review for the Liam's Calf and Bistro in Cockermouth. Oh, matron. <laughs> okay, then, guys. That's the end of this takeaway review. We are now going to go for a little walk with the dog dingo. Later on, we're going to take you back to our holiday home where we're stopping for a few days in the Lake District. I'll give you a quick look round where you can see where we've been enjoying a few days relaxation. Then later on, me and Mrs. Blood are going to do a world famous Waski with you. Oh, oh yes. You know what I'm talking about. And you know it makes total, complete sense. Right. All right, folks, we're back at our holiday home, which is called Gill Barn at Bampton in the Lake District, just along the road from Ascombe Village. Yeah, it was only £375 for four nights. You can't go wrong, dingo man dingoes, as they say in the south of France. That's an absolute bargain. Definitely right in the Lake District. Anyway, however, I'll give you a quick look about before we get on with the world famous Waski with you. So as you can see, you've got your little washroom here, washing machine, tumble dryer, your sink. You've got a room here, two sets of bunk beds, plenty of room if you've got a few skids, I mean kids, sorry guys. Another little room here with some bits and pieces, ladder, you know, high chair there. For the bambinos, right then, let's have a look along here. We have, this is the smaller bathroom, lav, shower, sink, nice and modern, nice and clean, lovely jubbly. You've got the other bathroom here. This one's got your shower and your bath dingo. You know it makes sense. This is the room where me and Mrs. Blot has been staying. Oh yes, where the magic happens, man dingoes. <laughs> Right, double bed, plenty of wide room space. Dennis, well, you're good looking. That's it. This is all on the ground floor. How about Dennis? Sell us your physique. Okay, then, guys, let's have a look upstairs. And I'll show you all that jazz. Right. Take a walk upstairs, my fan sexuals. 
we have another bedroom there. My son Preston, he's in there and he's on his iPad, so we're not disturbing. It's pretty much the same as the room that me and Mrs. Bloss are staying in downstairs. It's got a double bed, a couple of wardrobes, plenty of room dingo to keep all your clothes. You've got a big dining room table here where me and Mrs. Blot have been playing dominoes, which I'm currently winning 3 1, is that right? Come on, get it right. <laughs> you always win, don't you? Mm. She always wins the dominoes. But I, loads of space here, six seats, and there's a big bench there so you can pull her up if there's more. If there's more than six of you stopping here, got a nice, lovely, modern kitchen. You cannot complain, guys. Absolutely spot on. Quick look in the sitting room. There you go, nice and cosy. Just what you want for a few days in the Lake District. Log burning stove. There was enough wood there when we came for one night, but we brought plenty for ourselves as well. So there you go, Mandingo's absolutely spot on. Gill Barn at Bampton in the Lake District. The only thing is, <laughs> bong, I've done that about 10 times. <laughs> I must have knocked my brains out about 10 times on this holiday, guys. I forgot to show you, outside the front, you've got your private driveway, so you're off the road, and out the back, you've got your own private little garden, which is ideal for when Dennis wants to drop his guts. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingo's. Check it out on Booking.com, that's where I built it. 375 Pundinkies for four nights. Anyway, that's enough of me talking shite when I bring your legends back. Me and the woman with a sexy bot, Mrs. Blot, are going to do a world famous Waski with you. Oh, oh yes. You know, it makes sense, man, goes. Right. Why well, should some lyrical genius? Oh, Dennis, I think you need a tic tac. Come on. Attack of the dogs. <laughs> Go on, get in, little buggers. Oh, yes. You know what time it is, Mandingo's. Waski time. And this is what we've got this week Baines Cape Mountain Waski. It's a single grain South African Waski. Ooh, South African Waski. I've never had one of them before. And that's being kindly bought for me from a legend by the name of Nick. Ball, he's also got his own YouTube channel called That's Him With The Daft Hat. So check that out on YouTube guys and thank you very much Nick for that. I've been enjoying it over the last three nights. But I've just been sitting chilling on a night time watching the telly with Mrs. Blot with the sexy bot. Yeah, as you can see, I've only just kept enough left for the last few of you as usual on the Blot Outdoor Show. Put that on there and let's get that pop in there. Oh yes. You know the dance, Mrs. Blood. Okay then. Do you want to have the festival for Rooney? No, I like you. Oh, well then. I like you. Let the whiskey master <laughs> go first. I am some whiskey connoisseur. Anyway, let's get the old Nostradamus in there. A very light, very mild, very light smell. A little bit fruity. For me, it's like grapefruit. But it's not really strong. Yeah, there's like a definite grapefruit smell there for me. And it's quite sugary as well. Maybe like a custard, like a sugary custard. Anyway, that's what I'm getting. You just don't agree with me, Mrs. Blot. You see exactly what you think. What you're getting with your big nostrils. It's not as big as yours. Ah. <laughs> uh. Denzel. I'll get marzipan. Bit of a marzipan thing mm -hmm. going on. Anything else? Any fruitiness? Grapes. Grapes? Mm -hmm. All right. Definitely strong marzipan. Marzipan and mm -hmm. grape dingoes. You know them big well <laughs> things you get, cakes you get? Aye. Right. Cherry bit well. You know the ones with the bikes? Oh yeah, might be them. Yeah. <laughs> a marzipan smell. Yes. Marzipan mm -hmm. with grapes. Yeah, well it is a definite fruit thing there, so you're not wrong, but for me, I'm getting grapefruit. But you don't have to agree on the same thing, you can both get a completely different smell. Like what I get sometimes if I'm with the two Chris's or Little Mick, we can both get a different smell and a different taste. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Rice. <laughs> Sorry about the panting. Dennis the dog, he's red hot. We've had the log burner on, and it's a bit too warm for him, isn't it, son? 
<laughs> anyway, how are we? Let's have a taste of uni. It's nice and soft. It's not harsh at all. Get a taste of that. Sometimes you have a whiskey, don't you? Even some of the nicer ones and you taste it, you're like, you know, a bit overpowering, a bit strong. That's quite soft. It's quite mild. What are you getting? <coughs> well, you're not a whiskey drinker, so. Not as strong as some of them that you've got, like mm -hmm. harshness in it. So but strong enough. <laughs> strong enough, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have another taste. <coughs> good boy, Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good dog, ain't you? I, I said like grapefruit in the old sniff thing go on. And there's a definite citrus thing there in the taste, guys. Oh, a definite citrus thing. But for me, there's a little bit banana in there as well. <laughs> what are you laughing at? That's my honest opinion. There's no bullshit here on the Bloody Oak Door Show, guys. We're not expecting that. Well, that's what I'm getting. Grapefruit, citrusy. And just the citrusy. But as I kept it in my mouth and swallowed it nice and slow, I'm not you trying to sound banana like a sliding down. That does not sound right at all, Mrs. Blood. Anyway, I did get like a nice banana, like a banana liqueur flavour. Yeah, I'm very nice. Are you getting anything? The citrus. The citrus is definitely yeah, there. I'm that's that's there a hundred percent or placenta, as Cowboy Chris says. <laughs> anything else? Just like the citrus. Like the smell of dog breath. <laughs> Ernest Shackleton there. <laughs> He's a good little mutt. Right, let's have another go, guys. Mm. There's some oak coming through, as you get in hundreds of different waskies. I can taste that, the oak. It's like after taste, mm -hmm. it is. It's not when you first drink it, but once you've had two or three tastes. Yeah, I can get that. I get really that one. Yeah, that oak is definitely coming through after three or four tastes. And I'm also getting like a lovely, soft vanilla thing going on. And you're going to laugh again. Don't spit your drink out again. Maybe some pears as well. There is loads of flavours in this waski. When I first sniffed it, with me old beak, I said it was very mild. So I wasn't expecting there to be loads of different flavours in the taste, but there is. I've had grapefruit, like a citrus grapefruit. Banana. Banana, a definite banana, like a banana liqueur. A little bit vanilla. <laughs> mm -hmm. A different vanilla. <laughs> a little bit vanilla. It's very nice. Are you getting anything else, Mrs. Blot? I'm just getting the citrus. But I'm blocked up a bit. What about in the taste, though? <sighs> I'm getting citrus. You're getting the citrus in the smell. Mm -hmm. But what about your taste? Are you getting the citrus in the taste as well? The taste, uh huh. And it's a bit oaky. A bit oaky. Mm -hmm. Well, down the hatch, guys. The smell, like I said, it was a marzipan. I've got a strong smell of marzipan. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice indeed, guys. There you go. Like I say, no bullshit in the Bloody Outdoor Show. We're both kind of getting different smells and different tastes. Yeah, that's just the way it goes, isn't it? <clears throat> Beans. Cape Mountain Waski, single grain, South African Waski. Once again, thank you to Nick Ball for that. My man friend is very much appreciated. I'm going to give my score now, Mrs. Blot, and I'm going to give that a very good, a very steady 8.5. Yes, a big steady 8.5 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. What's your score, Mrs. Blot? 8.2. 8.2. There you go, guys. Very decent scores from a waski that I've never even heard of. And I tell you what, I would definitely buy that again. I think a bottle of this will set you back. What was it? About around at the £26 skid mark. So I would say £26 for a bottle of that is an absolute bargain, you know. For a waski that tastes that good, you can pay a good 30 odd, 40 odd pound. 
So yeah, Bins, South African Waski. I'll definitely be investing in a bottle of that to go with my Waski collection. Because I've drunk all that one. I haven't kept any of that in my collection. I've drunk that full bottle over the last three or four nights. There you go, guys. That's the end of this week's Waski review. And you know what I'm talking about. This is serious Waski tasting. Well, that's it, Mrs. Blot. That's almost the end of this week's Foodie Friday Night video. Foodie and Waski review. I'm now going to leave you with a few fans clips. So enjoy them, guys. And please keep sending me your fans clips either through my email address, which is blotoutdoors at outlook.com, or private message me through Instagram. That's it. Anything to say, Mrs. Blot? Right. <laughs> Why, you're some lyrical genius. That's it, Mandingos. Please join me on Sunday night for my next serious stealth camping adventure. You don't make sense. Thank you for joining in. Joining in? <laughs> they didn't join in. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. That's what I meant to say. I'm now going to say bonjour and arrivederci. See you on the next video. Ricicles. <laughs> oh, amazing. El Matron Double Maxim Stealth Camp El Matron <laughs>